we cannot we cannot blame one country uh, on the destabilizing uh, destabilization of of the region uh, right now, because the situation uh, which we are suffering from right now is a result of of series of of policies of different countries. Saudi Arabia is a big country; it has a big role and has a big impact. So whenever one of uh, any of its policies goes wrong, the consequences of of this wrong policy is is much bigger and have higher impact. Uh, on our region. There are other smaller pr players who have also an impact uh, on the region. We disagree with some of the Saudis' policy uh, in the past. We disagreeing with them currently when they blockaded Qatar, when they continue the war in Yemen without reason, when uh, uh, the way they kidnapped uh, the Saudi prime minister, the, pri the Lebanese uh, uh, prime minister, sorry. And we disagree also with, with the Emiratis' policy when they go and supported brutal regime, supported uh, uh, military uh, coup in, in, in Libya, supported uh, 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 destabilization in, in Somalia, supported the separation and the division of, of Yemen. And uh, it's, it's just these policies which is destabilizing the region. We call that the, this region needs to go back and to look at the regional interest we have. We have countries that we have problem with, like Iran, as an example. Iran is part of our region, whether we, we like it or not, whether we agree with their policy or we disagree. It doesn't mean that we don't engage, and we just stay away and confront each other in proxies, like Yemen, like Syria, like Iraq, like Lebanon. We have to start a region, an engagement of regional framework that includes everybody, and discuss the real concerns of, of each and every country, and put together a governance that uh, at least ensuring the stability for the, uh, uh, for the future of our region. Other than that, we will not, we will not reach a solution. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.